Let's get back to clapping cheeks or getting our cheeks clapped. What's up, YouTube? How we doing today? SNES Mania. Let's do it. Game 139, gods. We got part two. We are hopefully going to finish today. Hopefully finish pretty soon. Hopefully I'm stapling this to the end of yesterday's VOD, but we'll see. I think we'll make the breaking point if it hits an hour. B, M, H, and three, two, one, go. We're on the final level, the underworld. The problem is we got to play through all of it. So I'm going to buy a life, the shield. Yeah, and just all that. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> just a second, chat.
Yo, Warren Gig. Warren Gig. Uh, I tell you what, we're going to do that. Well, yeah. just go. Oh, I'll just have to edit the video later. Uh, three, two, one, go. Nice. Dude, nice. Honestly, this opening little bit is one of the worst parts. Got a hope. Yeah. Okay, you still end up with full health there. And then it was jump across here. So for anyone who didn't know, we were basically at the point where like we had the entirety of the level planned out. Then you kill all this to change category. Oh, did it? That's on because literally I was playing gods at the end of yesterday. Twitch reverted it back. Was it saying Kingdom Hearts? here okay so i did some research on this game last night so there's a one-up that was spawning up there apparently the way the one-ups work in this game apparently it's like uh it uh whatever it's called adaptive difficulty if you don't have if you're low on lives it will spawn if not it will not spawn So that means as difficult as this game is, it's really, really, really hard to get more than like three lives. I did not go up there for those gems. Oh. I've been in Europe since GDQ and just got back, so this is late. But Spike, thank you all for all you did at GDQ. You're an absolute blast as a runner, host, and commentator. Thank you for all your hard work with all that. It was appreciated. Yo, thank you, Doc. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Whoa. Then we came up here. Yeah, and then you're safe because of the, f the floor from all of that. And then here's the end of the first level. Come all the way over here. Kill all these enemies. And then you need to break this top floor. And then, okay, so we have full health. Going out of world one. With this shop, I don't know what to do right now. Like, I could buy this little shield, but I don't know what to do with it. It's really like, do you want, like, different range on this shit? I don't know. Because that's, like, the only thing besides, like, if I wasn't filled up on health, what I would do. See, so, yeah, and you're, like, gonna hit that other aiming setup regardless. See, the only reason at this point I'm picking up the cash. Is just for the points. I don't know the breaking point. Whoa. 
where you get all your one-ups and shit. Uh, these things are spawning. I don't know how the spawns work for these at all. Ah, which that's fun. Gotta kill all these guys because they give you the bowl. So yeah, just at some point I need to use the shield. I don't know where it would be advantageous or most advantageous. Okay. Honestly, that doesn't seem like the worst usage of that. But yeah, you can get your dude to bring the the whatever that is on the floor over. But you probably want that mask as well. So there's a soft lock prevention, I guess, built into the game where if you killed this dude, which is the only way to get the mask on the other side for the points, then I guess just after X amount of time, the other key will just spawn here. I don't know if there's like other shit the game checks for. Yep. Okay. And this. Forgot that dude existed. Jabags are holy shit. Think of the 35 street gamer. Ah, penis. It's not like I want to land first. Or I just want to go down the ladder. Uh. Yeah, and then these two spawn. There's going to be a couple guys up here. All right, we have all three of the things. Whoa. I think we're about to die. Now you turn around here and yeah. So there's our first death. to leave one of these behind and then shoot from here hope they don't shoot you there and then I think there's a dude who's waiting yep on the top of the stairs here that you would just run into and then here's the final level running up to the boss I get this set of guys, yep, and then this set of guys, which one just swooped down. There was nothing I could do about it. Dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And so now you're getting your spears. 
You don't need that key. I haven't seen what to do with the key. I keep forgetting where those are spawning in shit. Yeah, this is like the end of the game. Come over here, kill these guys. I've literally been through this too many times. We're just having attempts where we're trying to get to the final boss. Dude. Yeah, first run through of the day. I forgot where all those fuckers spawn. I don't know what spawns the key, dude. So I can get the cash. I guess it's probably from, yeah. Okay, and this is the one thing I looked up last night. Yeah, that's a fucking button that's above me. Yeah. Also this, so this looks like it's not doing any damage, right? It is. I thought unless they were crumbling fast, there's just some things that give you the animation of it crawling soon or of it crumbling sooner. So now we have the big axes, which are the most powerful thing. All right, so this is the final boss. I wish I had gotten 5,000 more points. But I don't, it's maybe I have to have the key that would give, yeah. Next time, let's do that and see if it'll spawn it in. So the only way to damage this dude is to kill the snakes. God. They legit just want you to have enough health to where you can tank everything. Wait, jump. Okay, you need to like walk off there. Ah, this game is so fucking bad, dude. Jump. Yeah, legit just walk off. <laughs> Sometimes he just doesn't die very fast. All right, back to the start. And that's all the attempts you get. Because if I try to jump off there, then I have the landing animation that causes me to take way more damage. So yeah, this game is uh, janky and bad. If anyone was wondering. Fucking sunshine, dude. Yeah, so if the front dude like swoops low, you're just gonna take damage there. It's generally not a big enough deal to get you killed because then you get the health refill.
Let's this time actually try to get the key. Because, yeah, points would help a lot. I'm not going to go for that stuff. I don't think the points there are worth it. Got to come over here immediately and get that. So yeah, about once every 10 or so minutes, I get 30 seconds to try that boss. And again, that is apparently the final boss. Wait till they're gone. Yep, go, go. It's one of those classic games where eh, if you don't have the whole thing memorized, because also the shittiest thing that you're probably not noticing right now is I have this whole fucking thing memorized. If you don't, the enemy spawns are ridiculously stupid. What's up, Patty? Patty, have you played this before? Are you familiar with gods? It's some shitty old Amiga garbage. Again, I'm just buying that. I don't really know what to do with the money at that point. Ain't silly giving away that, but... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's not good. They also made very bad choices as far as, like, how precise... Like, God, look at these hitboxes, dude. Oh, that was stupid of me. That one was my fault. God, just interact with the thing, dude. Kill these two, turn around, kill these like three or four, whatever it is. Kill these three while you're over here, cause fuck it. Just a patty. Okay. Yeah, I think I know what I have to do about the final boss. It involves like just saying fuck it and tanking damage. And just minimizing the damage, because that's always fun game design, dude. <laughs> that's the God's way, dude. <laughs> Market game 139. Spike's drinking. Again, you could say, why don't you just let the guy carry the thing over? I want the points. And the mask is over there anyways. And I don't see other, any other way to get this fucking thing. It feels like there's still something else you gotta do. I wanna test if I just sit here. Because from what I run, it's literally just time. Yep. You just gotta wait an amount of time and it shows up. God, this game's... This game's so bad. <laughs> Drop down. Kill the thing.
Turn around. He's too high up. Start inching your way down. Kill this guy. Yeah, dude, we made comments about that yesterday. He's, we were like, does he have a back-based six-pack? Or has he just got three cheeks he shits out of? Cows get four stomachs, I get three asses. This dude triple shit. I hate it. By the way, if shit's not on screen, they don't take damage. Effectively. Kill these two, turn around, kill these two. I'm gonna jump up here, turn around and shoot. Yeah, a bunch of them just shit on me. Oh, I'm dumb and stupid simultaneously. I forgot, I was skipping a step. Turn around, shit. Up here, shit. I want to say 500,000 is a, uh, is a one up. It's potentially a difference maker. Come up here, click, start shooting. Hope they don't aim high. Come up here, stop. Cause this fucker they placed right here. Back to the final level again. Dude, I'm practically speedrunning this shit at this point. Which sucks, I hate speedrunning. A little further, yep. Dude, go fuck yourself, game. Hate that, he just jumped up. This is checking to see if this key oh, actually gives me. What I need. Over here, fuck these guys. They also shoot way too fast. Cause I'm fine with the whole like shoot duck, Ugh, but like that frequency is too much. Oh. Well. Do I not have access to that now? Once you flip it, oh no, fuck yourself game. Nah, I didn't miss it. God, why does that lock you out? <laughs> this game is so fucking dumb, dude. God damn it. Well, there goes that whole plan. So, never mind. We're gonna have about the same amount of health. Yeah, now I can't get the axes. 
You need that key to get these fucking axes. Well, that sucks, man. I love having the whole attempt not mean dog shit. It's because here's why. Let me break it down for y'all how shitty a game this is. This switch moves that key down, but the key was not loaded on camera. Because I tried, I didn't scroll the fucking screen enough. Then you do it, then it pushes it down. This also controls this fucker. Wow, dude, that's... Ah! Uh, game design is my passion. Because I don't think there's a way, like, why did they make these, you get one shot? Like, who cares? It's just flipping fucking switches, dude. Yeah, I think this is just straight up, you are fucked. That's, that's sad, dude. That's sad. That's sad they let stupid motherfuckers make video games, dude. Ah, right, well. Y'all ready to go through the whole level again? Cause that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, because now I, I can't kill the thing fast enough. We could try to come up with some alternate strategy. See, because then that's what happens off of it. Nice, so that's, because I want y'all to analyze this. They want you to jump from this platform where there's not a single pixel of jut out above that ceiling to that platform. And if you bonk, you sit inside that thing's hitbox and your health bar go, which is the whole game, by the way. If something sits inside you, your health bar fucking melts. Please stand up, dude. Please jump. So is that thing gonna be low on health? Okay. No, not enough. We got him fucking close, dude. God, they just... Ah, God, God. Truly, who cared, dude? All right, let's do the whole level again. Boom, over here. Oh, I got shot there, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a two because I just, for all the frustration, the game's just not that fun. I'm actually okay with frustration a lot of the time if what's underneath it all is fun. And this game's just not very fun. It was spending too much time thinking how to be archaic and dumb and mean to stop and think, how would we make it fun and fair in any way? Yeah, GK, I tried really hard to like this dog shit and I couldn't do it. But it's really not much above stuff like out of this world. It's very, Guess what number I'm thinking?
Like, I have to have all these enemy spawn patterns memorized, or your health bar just goes brrrr. Because at the very least, all the other bosses at least understood this game is like barely a platformer. So don't ask the player to do platformy game things inside of a boss fight. And that perfectly highlighted why that should not have been the case. Two of these little guys, springy boys over here. Ray of Lion, thank you for the 82 months. Appreciate you, gamer. Hope you're doing well. I should be way too aggressive there. Again, it's fine as long as I get to this health. They'll feed three of me here. Oh, what am I doing? Fucking, ah, I just forgot a sing. See, that's what happens when you forget a single enemy's spawn. Dude, I don't know why these spears sometimes spawn and sometimes they don't. It's just an old janky game. Ah, well, uh, you know what? That was a slightly better usage of the shield. That's so dumb. <laughs> ah, that was fall damage. I gave away free health because fall damage. I fell more than six pixels. I took fall damage. Yeah, this would be on my short list for like, dude, if you want to play this game, just fucking use save states. Hey, you get to that boss fight. I would have, if I was being like, just, I don't give a fuck, I'm using save states. I would have, uh, booted up the uh i would have just made a save state at the start of the boss until i figured out its patterns i think i figured it out you just have to get there with enough health and ideally the axe so i haven't killed these guys yet what up, Raging Beard? How you doing, gamer? And then after this, guys, then it's... More, uh... Ocean. Ocean Software, the creators of Adam's Family, but also fucking RoboCop 3. The preview we did of it, Lethal Weapon didn't look as bad as RoboCop 3, but... I don't know. We'll see with that one. We might be on a little string of poop. Yeah, it's ocean soft, right? Yo, 
Yo, what up, childish Miguelito? So probably going to, once again, lose our extra life here. Uh, uh, just fucking die! God, just absolutely impossible, dude. Yeah, Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. I hear that game is very hard and it's coming up. <laughs> cool, ate a bunch of free damage. That's, I literally know those are coming. And I cannot avoid damage. Yeah, let's try this, dude. Now, dude, you need to come over here. You need to come over here, man. See, like... What? What did you want, game? They can be off screen, but you fucking can't. Okay, the thing is landing. I think I need to hit the middle fucking switch. Now I need to hit the left switch. Is this somehow still not enough to give me 500,000? Are they gonna be that big of sticklers about it? Oh, did those collectively give me no fucking points? It's also on Genesis. Yeah, so now I can get this shit. Do you get points just from picking these up? Come on, man. Like an extra life would be huge, dude. Do I actually need to go for that little spot where I was skipping the enemies? I didn't think, wow. Well, sick, dude. Okay.
Stand here. Start shooting. God, it's so... That's, I need a walk off. You need, you will take damage. You have to just let yourself take damage. Dude, I'm sorry I didn't jump. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you couldn't think to make it jut out one fucking pixel, dude. No, dead. I fucking... Mm. Mm. <laughs> they couldn't do it, dude. They just couldn't make a functioning fucking video game. We'll get it. We will eventually get this shit. This final boss is fucking awful, dude. Just an atrocity. To note, I even went, broke down and went and watched the speedrun last night. The speedrun literally just eats the damage. I found a speedrun and a let's play that both just says you can't avoid damage, you just reduce damage by taking it to shit that hurts less. Always a sign of great game design. Okay, so I guess go for the extra kills that I was skipping before. Let's even go for this. I should have taken note of how many points that was. I can't believe in that entire fucking treasure room, that wasn't good enough. See, look at all that health I just ate because you're in that enclosed space. But, like, I want the points. as long as I can get full health coming out of this level. Okay, you still end up with full health coming out. There's also that upper group of enemies. Man, yeah, to know, gold gives you like no points.
food, and again, the hitboxes are bad, so sometimes enemies just live longer than they should. Yo, what's up, company man? How you doing, bud? I need to stop doing that. I need to, I just need to wrap around, dude, because that's just giving away fall damage. Ah. Oh, raw pain, dude. Right, dude? You're fucking Hercules. Why is that hurting you? I actually straight up changed this. I was like, I wouldn't call this a platform. I think this is more of a, just an action game where there's way more emphasis on like combat and shit. Like, this game did not need fucking fall damage. Again, I don't know what life's bonus means. I didn't gain... Did I somehow get a sliver of health? Company man, I've just gotten to the final boss like 10 times now, which it takes over 10 minutes to play through this fucking level. And then the boss can kill you in about six fucking seconds. Damn it. It's just hard to stay locked in for this amount of fucking level, dude. Dude, why? Where did you come from? I'd always killed two of you. Where did you come from? Where did that fucker... Why did he spawn in earlier? Why did he spawn in earlier, dude? Ah. I'm almost dead. Just the feeling of helplessness a game like this gives you sucks so much, dude. It's like, no, 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 we did not intend for you to do any of this without taking damage. All right, well, your points are in a much better spot. If I do everything correctly, I should be able to get to 500,000. Go to the window, turn around, go further to the window, turn around, go further, further to the window, go further, further to the window, Jesus. Yeah.
Yeah, you just have to. There's like, I don't know how they wanted you to do that without eating damage. Like, I can maybe stand here and just spray this, but you're probably gonna lose the key. Yep. Okay, they gave me an extra life. See, now I've killed enough enemies, I don't even have to do this necessarily. Okay, then I'm gonna say don't kill the dude. It's probably close, but now that's just free health at this point. But I could go, boop, I need this. Put it back up. Now do this. Again, I that's the only thing I looked up was that button existing. Again, that little square you see above me that looks like it's just part of the wall. Yeah, that's a fucking button. I can see TPR making a reappearance, yeah. I played a lot of it, so I'm taking a break. Okay, gamers. This needs to be the attempt. Right fucking here, dude. Walk off, eat the damage. There's no way. There's no way. Jump off. Walk off. Jump off. Oh, you piece of shit, please. And he just, they, they can't live for that long. Walk off, jump up. It's over. Oh my God, please. He has no health, just die, please. Letters can you even fit? I put in S. Nah. See, it shows it like it's five. Even this is stupid. God. Fuck. I'm a number one god, dude. Good job, Hercules.
The way to Mount Olympus lies open. I think you can only fit three characters. You may now claim your place among the gods. Damn that belly button. Turbo Blazer, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate you, bud. Enjoy your life. It will last forever. Hooray! <laughs> you can play as many Super Nintendo games as you want. Yeah, from a visual, like, I like the art style they actually went for and everything. And the music is solid. This suffering lasts forever. But playing the game feels like shit. <laughs> You see a DS? Oh, Dark Souls. That was like a Nintendo DS. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was that game. Ah, uh, yeah. That shit was so like the uh, biggest issues with it uh, was everything. No, uh, the biggest issues is that it <laughs> the enemy spawns are terrible. There's a lot of times where I'm convinced you're just going to take damage without really giga cracking it down. You're just gonna take damage. The enemy spawns, especially your first many times. Like, yeah, you maybe don't take damage once you have the entire playthrough of the level completely fucking memorized. But enemies that'll just swoop in, spawn on you. I had to like, no, okay, this fucking pixel in the background, five dudes are gonna swoop in from the back and they don't do little damage or big damage, but you get iframes. No, they all make your health go bar go. So it ruins any chance of any of that being interesting. The platforming is not fun. Uh, especially how often they were like, hey, we're going to make the platforming. Uh, here's a platform and here's an equally shaped sized platform right above it. And we want you to jump out. So you have to like inch your way out and then jump. Uh, especially fun there in that final boss when I would just bonk instead, fall into the worm and the worm would just go on the health bar. That's super cool. Um... A part of me thought like, oh, like there's gonna be like different builds and shit to this game. Nah, there's just different level weapons. That's all it is. You're just finding the exact same variation, but a stronger variation on the exact same weapon the whole time. Um, the puzzles of this game were dog shit. Like you weren't solving puzzles. You were just flipping random switches until, oh, this made that other door open, right? Also, the game like kind of punishes you for exploring sometimes because of how the enemy spawns work. Yeah, this, this was not my cup of tea. Is it at least better than Pit? Oh yeah, everything's better than Pit Fighter. That shit ain't close. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't put it over any of these. It's below Krusty Super Fun House. It's ranking 121 out of 139 right now. Yeah, fuck that game. Yeah, and that's what a lot of... Who got the, I think this is ooh, ooh yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. That shit sucked ass. Ooh, ooh could have won this season. Because, yeah, is it, is it updated? Two, so that puts you at 18. Uh, yeah. Chuck Rock and this pulled Uwu down too much to catch it. Because honestly, NHL 93, I'm kind of expecting to be a lot of fun. Yeah, Gods was just, that. It was like one step above miserable. Oh, fuck this little helper, by the way. He helps for like, you spend a million dollars on him and he helps for like 30 seconds.
Hope this game is enjoyable. Well, we just finished it and it was not. <laughs> that was probably in the bottom five weakest games of the season. Yeah, above only Road Riot, Spider-Man Arcade's Revenge. Yeah, I'm very enjoying the fact that it's fucking over. Wings 2, Bart's Nightmare 5. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like 7 to the bottom. Yeah. I mean, you're going to finish probably in like... I think either you or Generic are going to end in third place. Yeah, poor... <laughs> poor Sarah, dude. <laughs> What's Sarah's score? It's a 6. And she's got two shitty looking sports games here at the end. It was getting to the end of the levels. They were like a little closer. Like it was platforming, but it was like more labyrinthian. It's like a super, yeah. it's like not Metroidvania enough to be Metroidvania. But anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed gods. That shit sucked. I'm probably, so yeah, that was less than an hour. Yeah, I'll probably stitch those two together. I'm going to stitch them and do some editing. But, all right, YouTube. Next time on Sesmania, we're done with the 130s. We just crossed 590 hours of Sesmania. And next up again, we have got Ocean. They are batting 500 right now, which looks good on paper. Because Adam's family was awesome. Uh, and RoboCop 3 was dog shit. Let's see how lethal weapon is next time. See y'all then. Bye-bye.